Hey, let me ask you something. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm look so picture this, folks, okay? Dave does a huge amount of work, okay? Meaning the, the aspect of when you're putting an ETF together, and I remember, folks, let me tell you something. When I, I had the president, no, the vice president of the American Stock Exchange, this is crazy, Dave, on the first day they did the QQQs, and that's when the American Stock Exchange was around and they owned them. And who would ever know? But I was looking at your ETFs today, and I'm talking about the one-to-ones. Would you ever think that you, like, let's say, if we talk, well, we can talk about the, the moon, we could talk about um, the work from home, that you develop an ETF six months ago, and the way the market is, a one-to-one -one is even up 50% in six months. Yeah, uh, I think that's emblematic of the market environment we find ourselves in. You're, you're, whether you're talking about work from home or the recently launched Moonshot Innovators, ticker Moon. Yes. Moon's actually up 90% since, since inception wow. uh, in November. Uh, you know, some of the names in that fund, Plug Power, Workhorse, uh, or uh, iRobot, you know, have had exceptional performance. Moon today just crossed over 100 million in assets with unbelievable trading volume. As folks are getting into that that fund, realizing if you in today's market. Uh, the 50 most innovative early stage companies, so they're all small and mid caps, okay. uh, actually can propel the portfolio uh, forward a lot more robustly maybe than some of the large caps have been. No doubt. Here, yeah, so let's, I would really want to talk about this because it's when I start looking at these charts, I'm saying to myself, so when you put together, let, let's talk about Moon, okay? So the symbol's M O O N, folks, okay? When you put this together, is this, is this Moon like we're going to the Moon or is this Moon that, these are just very powerful stocks. Well, it's uh, there is Virgin Galactic in it, uh, okay. so that that uh, stock is intending to go to the moon. Um, but really, it's it's the idea uh, goes back to the JF JFK was actually the first to coin moonshots when he was talking about I put, you know, putting a man, putting a man on the moon. Yes. Um, but so we have that inspiration of really doing finding companies that are that are going after a challenge which may not be easy to meet right. um, but can transform the world but in today's uh, what's interesting in today's market you know whether uh, it's the social media uh, or reddit talking about moonshots many of those names are the same um, so yes. uh, investors have realized that we need to focus on transformation we need to focus on disruption even if uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel with the covid-19 pandemic with uh, the rollout of vaccinations the world's changing, right. uh, and it's changing with technology, not just technology companies, but what's happening in industrials, what's happening in healthcare. So Moon just gives you, uh, you know, that concentrated 50 stock exposure to all of these different innovations. No, I love the analogy of JFK getting us to the moon because that's I, I get it. That you're talking about companies that have a grand vision and they're willing to do the work behind it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Huge. So. Let's, and that symbol, folks, is M-O-O-N, and that's a one-to-one, -one, okay? So now let's go over, you know, work from home. I mean, the, but the bottom line is that we know that, you know, things have changed uh, in a dramatic front. There's no doubt. Uh, this is hitting all-time highs out here today. And, you know, a year later, we can see that, yeah, you know, there's some folks that are going to be going back to the office, but I actually, my son and I were just talking about uh, business in general, and we're realizing that, hey, man, listen, people can work from us anywhere in the world now. I mean, very easily, too, you know? Well, that's the beauty of it. You, can, you, guys, you, know, you guys as business owners can go find um, someone to work on the website uh, yes. or, or go find a coder who's in Seattle or who's right. in Vancouver. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't really matter. It actually may be more productive and more efficient for your business than for them because they want that kind of either freelance opportunity or they could be full time just based out of their house because they don't need to be collaborating in an office depending upon the role. And what we're finding is more and more companies are realizing this. So it's not just pushing back dates right. for when people return to the office. It's saying, oh, we can change our business model for the better. And what's interesting is a lot of folks were uh, a few weeks ago, we actually saw some outflows from the work from home ETF for the first time since it accepted okay. uh, uh, earlier in 2020. But it continues to make all-time highs. Yes. Um, so, you know, those folks, maybe they, they obviously took advantage of a, what had been a good trade, uh, but y it maybe have been a bit short-sighted um, because these stocks continue to have great momentum, the cloud, the cyber side, uh, as investors again say, wait a minute, uh, the earnings that they're posting wasn't just a two-quarter blip. Uh, they're showing really great uh, results in this year, and their guidance is actually going up, not down, for 2021, 2022.